Over the years, Top Gear has captured the hearts of millions of viewers worldwide with its amazing cars, humor and thrilling challenges. But like everything else, Top Gear has had its ups and downs. So in this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the rise and fall of Top Gear and why it has been such a successful show. Please like and subscribe. Part 1. The Rise of Top Gear Top Gear began as a conventional motoring show on BBC in the 70s. It featured reviews of new cars, discussions about car technology and practical advice for car enthusiasts. Hello there and welcome to this, our first edition of Top Gear. Now if you happen to be a road user... However, it was not until the early 2000s that the show transformed into the globally recognized brand that it is today. The show's host, Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May were a perfect blend of comedy, wit and banter, which made the show more than just a typical car show. Their on-screen chemistry and the ability to take risks to create thrilling challenges made Top Gear a hit with audiences worldwide. Episodes of Top Gear were typically made in a studio and on location. The studio segments were filmed in front of a live audience and typically included discussions about cars, automotive news and interviews with celebrity guests. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Wahlberg! Hosts would often engage in playful banter with challenges during these segments which made them a fan favorite. Location segments were filmed all over the world and involved the hosts driving cars and participating in challenges that showcased the features and performances of the vehicles. These segments often included stunning visuals of landscapes, architecture and cultural events from around the world. But I personally think that Top Gear is most known for its beautiful road trips. In these specials, the trio would go to special locations to do some challenges there. The problem is that Richard Hammond may be stupid and a rampant racist, but he is quite practical. He'll probably have that car put back together again in about five minutes. It'll take me a year. And these were personally my favorite, and I think that this is what made Top Gear so popular. In these specials, you could see the trio together and you could really see the chemistry between them. Top Gear's production value was also one of the reasons why the show was so successful. The show had a pretty large budget, had beautiful shots, and of course, the humor. The show's producers worked hard to create engaging and exciting challenges for the hosts, which often required meticulous planning and coordination. The production team also paid great attention to detail when it came to selecting the right cars for each challenge. The show's hosts would typically give their opinions on the car's performance and features. Best brains in the business. It should have been spectacularly good. Let me show you what it was like to drive. <laughs> they would often be pitted against each other in challenges to see which car was superior. Overall, the episodes of Top Gear were a mix of studio segments and on-location challenges which showcased the host's humor, wit and passion for cars. The show's production team worked hard to create visually stunning segments that captured the imagination of viewers worldwide. And the show's challenges, like the Vietnam special or the Race to the North Pole, kept the viewers on the edge of their seats. Power tests on the track and celebrity guests added a fun segment to the show. Top Gear's international appeal was further boosted when it began airing in over 200 countries, earning the title of the most widely watched factual television program in the world. Part 2. The show's downfall began when Jeremy Clarkson was fired from the show following a physical occasion with one of the show's producers. This incident led to Clarkson's departure from the show, and his co-hosts Hammond and May also left the show in solidarity. Just a day after his suspension, Jeremy Clarkson was keeping up the irreverent banter which has made him a household name and extremely wealthy. <laughs> People who don't like him, though, say he's frequently offensive, and they've got a long list of complaints. There was his dodgy joke about truck drivers. It's a hard job. Change gear, change gear, change gear, check your mirrors, murder a prostitute, change gear, change gear, murder. This trio had become synonymous with the show's success, and their departure created a huge void in the show's appeal. The BBC attempted to replace the three hosts with new presenters, including Chris Evans and Matt LeBlanc. But the new hosts failed to capture the same level of humor and chemistry that the original trio had. The show's new format and presenters were not well received by fans, and ratings began to decline rapidly. 
Some fans also accused the show of trying too hard to replicate the formula that made it successful in the past, without innovating or adapting to changing times. Furthermore, the show faced other controversies, such as accusations of racism and insensitive comments. Moment. But there's a slope on it. Yeah, right. It's definitely higher on that side. And these controversies further damaged the show's reputation and contributed to its downfall. Top Gear's downfall was a significant loss for the automotive industry, as the show had become a cultural icon and had inspired millions of viewers worldwide to appreciate and love cars. Its impact on the industry cannot be overstated, and its legacy will be remembered for years to come. Part 3. But why was Top Gear such a success? So, what made Top Gear such a successful show? Firstly, it was the perfect combination of cars and humor. The hosts made the show relatable, and the humor and banter made the show fun and entertaining for all. Secondly, the show's production value was top-notch. Thirdly, the show's international appeal was due to its ability to transcend language barriers and cultures. The show's focus on cars and challenges made it universal with viewers from all over the world, tuning in to watch the latest episode. And finally, the show's innovation and willingness to take risks helped keep it fresh and exciting. Top Gear was a show that captured the hearts of millions of viewers in worldwide. Despite its eventual decline, it remains a cultural icon in the automotive industry, with its influence still being felt today. The show's unique blend of humor, cars and challenges set it apart from its peers and made it a global phenomenon. Thank you for watching this video, please share your thoughts on the rise and fall of Top Gear in the comments down below. Bye. My ingenious snow measuring tactic didn't go brilliantly. Wow! That's a lot harder there. <laughs> and if you want to write to the BBC and say this is some rare type of tree and has to be preserved, you can stick it up your ass. Right. Try, try and run me down. Oh, all right. In order to be even more thorough, I decided to test it on James's car. Here we go, ready?